Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Xenogears. This is episode four, 14. <clears throat> we just finished the semifinals in the battling arena, and uh, next we have the finals. So we're getting to the point where we're going to have an opportunity to get that bomb off of our neck. So let's uh, go over here and, you know, do some work. Is that all? <clears throat> so basically the idea is that y yes, we have access to gears as battlers, but that doesn't mean we have access to good parts. The champ does, but the champ also gets a ton of money for winning the finals, so you know. <clears throat> There's nothing we can do. He's got a really interesting gear, I'll give him that. Um, and some of his character, Rico, uh, some of Rico's character's shortcomings are actually uh, made up for in gear combat. Um, mostly the speed, the fact that he can use a booster uh, makes him a better gear combatant than an uh, OTG combatant, you know, on foot. <clears throat> Um, doesn't make him perfect, and as y'all saw in the last episode, he's still way too squishy for the fact that he weighs like 430 pounds, according to his bio in the little pamphlet that comes with the game, whatever, the game manual. Hey, it's this motherfucker again. He can just randomly show up wherever, huh? Seems like there's a lot of people like that. It seems like there's a lot of, like... Our characters struggling to do fucking anything, but then these guys are like bamfing all around the world. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see what the deal is with this guy. And we'll get an idea about it eventually. Ugh, nose itch. Oh shit. Literally bamfing around. Like, even the camera making a show of it. He's magic. Alright, you already get our asses handed to us? Actually, I'm kidding. Um, so this is the first time we actually get to fight him, where we can actually do something about him. He also has a much better guided shot than us. Luckily, we didn't take any cutscene damage from that. Alright, so this is the point where all these buffs are going to actually come in handy here. Wish he had a defense buff, to be honest. I bet we can't counter that, but we're also high enough level that it doesn't do any fucking damage to us, so that's fine. Doing this fight at lower, uh, lower difficulties is trouble. Yeah, okay, that's that's fine. I uh, doubt you can actually do anything to me. Alright, let's see. How much damage are we doing? Alright, that's pretty good. So if y'all remember the last time we fought him in the tournament, we couldn't even hit him with fucking death blows. I don't think. Damn. I always liked how mean that one was, because he's floating in the air and he just gets knocked down to the ground. Oh look, he used a better version of Raijin. That's actually really fucking cool. I wish Faye could get that at some point. So, that was not supposed to be nearly as easy as it was. Um, so, you know, wh whoops. <laughs> Excuse me. I was beating your ass with brute strength, though, dude. Except for the fact that I took that story loss. Actually, what he's saying has interesting implications for what's going on here. Ah, delicious water. Even if you were to get parts comparable, there is still that difference in mass. 
It's like Faye should have learned jujitsu, which, according to my friends who are crazy about jujitsu, is all about a smaller, weaker opponent taking out a larger, more powerful opponent. Which sounds fucking cool. I have given you the hint. It's up to you to figure out through experience. Whew. Feeling a little more chill today than I have been lately with these recordings. Like, I feel like I'm just enjoying this part so much that I don't have that much to talk about. Whereas, like, I could constantly yell about how much of an idiot Bart and Faye was in the past couple episodes. Here, it's just like we've, we've set our mind to something and we're working on it. And... Yeah. So that's a that's a hell of a uh, of a uh, plot drop right there. So we're way more connected to this guy than we would know. Also, apparently, Faye has a father who was chummy with this wise man. Yeah, he's totally lost his memories. <clears throat> also, Faye obviously has the... <laughs> uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He has the uh, typical Japanese JRPG protagonist sickness. There's lots of typical sicknesses in... Uh, Yes, I know, there was too many S's in that. There's lots of typical JRPG sicknesses um, that you see. Actually, it's very tropey. Um, it's still tropey here. I mean, granted, I've been experiencing it for almost 31 years. Not the game itself, but the tropes. Um, also, Wiseman just called my mom hot. Um... There's always the Japanese protag amnesia sickness. There's the uh, uh, Japanese. There's the anime mother sickness where they're always dying of nothing. <laughs> so it's interesting that. Wiseman didn't know that we had lost all our memories. Because the last time he saw us, he was just yelling at us. Like, dude, what are you doing? Now it's just like, oh shit, you, you're fucked up. Okay, here's the deal. My bad. This is what's going on. Alright, so we're actually getting a little bit of backstory on Faye here, which is... Some of the first backstory we've gotten in a very long time. Run into graph three times. We actually, yeah, I won't spoil it, but like, Wiseman is like flabbergasted that we even exist anymore after fighting or meeting with Graf. Apparently, he's kind of a big deal. Agreed to Khan's request. Began looking for you, and that man! I mean, we know the name of that man. He could have just called him Graf. Three years ago, there was a violent storm of sheer rage. Uh oh. Graf got all fucked up. Actually, no, we got fucked up. Graf <laughs> beat the shit out of us and left. Left you in the custody of those village people. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. I'm sorry. <laughs> My kitchen is exploding. Take care of his son, but for the sake of the world, that man had to be disposed of. If something were to happen to him, he would have to take care of the rest. So basically, this guy is kind of supposed to be a stand-in father figure, I guess? Kind of? That seems to be the case, anyways. So 
So shit, Faye's dad's probably dead. Like, super dead. Also, it's always funny to me that these, like, these JRPG pro tags, they lose their memory, but they don't lose their ability to, to fight. Like, which is like, yeah, if you, you know, if you can lift 450 pounds, if you can bench 450 pounds and you lose your memory, you're still going to be able to bench 450 pounds. But, like, there's a lot of non-muscle memory related know-how that has to go into martial arts. Um, and, yeah, there is a lot of muscle memory to it, um, especially if you're well-practiced over a long period of time. But the fact that these JRPG pro tags are just like, yeah, I can do, you know, crazy martial arts combos and limit breaks and blah, 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 blah. It's inexplicable. All right. So we get one of the first name drops of Chevette. Um... See if you guys remember any giant floating things we saw maybe 10 episodes, I don't know, ago. Um, but yeah, so now Faye has more ideas on where to get answers about his past. Which I don't think has necessarily been important to him up to this point. I mean, at the beginning, the beginning of the game it wasn't. At the beginning of the game he was just kind of happy to be living in the village and... You know, being normal, which, when you don't have any memories, if that's what you can hold on to, if that's the stability you get, that's probably fine, but... Shut the fuck up, Hammer! So this guy gave us a bunch of information on our past. He gave us a big hint on how to fight Rico. Um... In terms of gameplay, his, his, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? In terms of gameplay, his advice was basically don't stand in front of Rico and button mash. <laughs> um, which I'm sure is something I did at the, the first time I played through this. But uh, I think I have a pretty good rhythm. I think I have a pretty good rhythm of going through. Hey. Let's save here. Got full health back. Yep. Um, I think I've got a pretty good rhythm. There we go. I'm talking again. Of uh, how to do this fighting. Yeah, you fucking heard me. Also notice I didn't get any experience from that fight. I got a plot dump instead of experience. All right. Let's go to the finals, you guys. We gonna do it. Uh, this way. Never remember. Playing this game for 20 years, and I always have to remind myself the first couple times I run through that building. Alright, here we go. I hope you guys are excited for exciting battling conclusion. Actually, this does become pretty cool. The finals! I get to challenge Ricardo Banderas. Let me at him. I'm Fei Fong Wong. Fei Fong Wong? Yeah, that's right. Um, people surmise and conjecture that his name is supposed to be a play on the name of the famous Chinese folk hero, Wong Fei Hung. Um, which is the main character of about a million Chinese martial arts movies and shows. Um, probably for an American audience, most well known as uh, Jackie Chan's character in the Drunken Master films. He's not really doing much. Look at this. Look at this. This is... Uh, so this is, this is a normal AI, too. Oh. Uh-oh. Ah. Let's go stand in the water. Where's the water? There's the water. Yeah. 
Ha ha ha, you ain't shit, boy. Come on. Come on. Ha! I love it when they try to jump over it and they get hit by it in midair and go flying. Yeah! We perfected Rico! <laughs> now I have to do it two more times. I am the biggest and the strongest with my back wings. Shit. He's really not putting up much of a fight. I wonder what the deal is. Because it's not story related. This is like just the AI seems to be taking a shit. Did, did the thing disappear on me? Son of a bitch. Yeah, you ain't shit. So we're always the same speed in here, so I can pretty much permanently run away from him. It's, um, as long as you're doing it right, it's borderline impossible to get hit if you keep moving in the water. So the water is like this super scummy cheat spot. Shit! No, 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 no! Oh, damn. So there's the don't stand in front of him and button mash coming into play. Ah! There we go. Okay, that one went a little worse, but that wasn't too bad. Oh, running away! <laughs> you can just see Faye in his gear going like, Oh my god! Come on. Come on, buddy. God. Faye just has no range on his melee attacks. We're gonna use just his basic kick attacks. Alright, I gotta make sure I can avoid that. God, he will not leave me alone. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Let me skis you out like all the other fights. Uh-oh. Damn it! He's kicking my ass now! Fuck it! <laughs> I don't know why I was trying to actually get in on him when I could just burn all my health to fuck him up. Hey, look at that! We won the finals! We da best! We did it! That was only normal difficulty. The hard difficulty is actually a pretty good fight. He's got new henchmen! This fucking little bastard! He can't... He can't not have henchmen! What a... <laughs> I don't know. Shut up! Don't embarrass me any further. You did kind of get embarrassed, bro. I shut you out. The only time I went below half health was when I decided to burn all my health to murder you. So there we go, we beat Rico. This is, uh... Yeah. That was not as hard as it was hyped up to be. I guess if, I guess if that's the first time you've gone through it, it might be more difficult. Um, I don't think I... Ow, 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 ow. I don't think I ever really... Ow! Goddamn son of a whore. Ow, that hurt. Um, damn it. I don't think I ever had uh, too much trouble with it. I'm sure I had some trouble with the battling at some point, but, uh, you know, experience is on my side for this LP specifically. And now we get the story reason, is he's been injured a bunch. So now we're the champ, champity champ. <clears throat> And now he's just like, I ah, uh, bye. We're under Rousey. <laughs> Don't follow me. Go on, go. Go back to the wild. Get out of here. <laughs> I don't remember what movie that is. So apparently as... That was fading out. Hammer is now acquitted of his crimes because he was in my crew, I guess. Alright, so this is the first time you get to see his gears model in-game outside of the battling, which is not 
the actual model, obviously. And now Rico has decided he's going to get somebody. I wonder who that's going to be. <sighs> hey, back to these chuckle fucks. And our attractive friend, Rank. No, our attractive friend, Ellie. Shut up! I likes what I likes. Uh, you know what they say. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. Just bear with me, you guys. You know what they say about... About JRPG love interest heroines. <laughs> I get older, but they stay the same age. <laughs> oh god. Oh, it's so creepy. Oh, Jesus. There's something wrong with me. I'm sorry. If you like that terrible off-color joke, you should subscribe, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so this is our first introduction to um, the modern-day elements, uh, which is basically a core of, like, five or six people who are super strong special forces. Like, the guys behind us are supposed to be, like, the regular special forces, but Dominia here is part of the elements, which is, like, a whole level removed from that. Like, she's more on Ellie's level or above Ellie's level in terms of strength. Um, if you guys remember from many episodes ago, um, Satan and Hyuga... Wait, that's the same fucking person. Satan and Sigurd... Um, and Karan Ramses were considered elements back in the day. Uh, and obviously they're not anymore because two of them defected, well, maybe one of them, one of them definitely defected, one of them might have defected, and the other one's now commanding the entire goddamn army. Um, so this is your first introduction to any actual, like, active elements. Um, and the name is interesting because, for the most part, all of the elements um, fight based on a specific magical element. Um, which can make fighting them really fucking annoying. Um, some of the most difficult fights in the game are against the elements. Um... There's a bunch of other. There, it's a cool. It's a cool group of people, and it's cool characters for sure. Um, but there are gameplay and story reasons for why I hate them, and I will talk about it later. Especially the story reasons. Oh my god, the story reasons. It's a. It's another Japanese trope. The story reasons why I hate them, but uh, like, holy shit. Um, is it bad? It's really, really bad. It's actually super fucking gross. But, we'll talk about it later. So the interesting thing is that, um, as Dominia said, she's a lamb. She's an earth dweller. She was an earth dweller at some point. Which means that, like, being an element is almost completely based on ability. Um, and not necessarily based on where you were born. So, um, Ellie isn't necessarily an element just because she's a first-class Solarian. She's an element because she's that good. Or, I think she's basically an element dropout, is the idea. Hey, look! I've got this room. I've got an apartment now. Isn't this sick? This game's about to turn into a 20-hour property management sim, like Yakuza 0. Which is an awesome fucking game, by the way. Um, I'm kidding. But, uh, yeah. So, now we have our own apartment here. And I don't think I have the bomb on my neck anymore. And Rico crashed into the Kaiser's fucking personal skybox thing. Faye looks better with the big dumb life vest around his neck, I think. I absolutely want to take a, a walk around A block. I absolutely want to take a walk around the civilian area. 
There's actually a good amount of stuff to do there, and there's some stuff you can do there that has implications for the end of the game. Um, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, maybe I'm not gonna sneeze. Maybe I am gonna sneeze. I don't know. Anyways, anyways, there's some stuff we got to do there that is gonna have implementate or implications for the very end of the game. Um, it's gonna have some stuff to do with how we are or um, stuff we can do at the end of the game, and you get no indication of this, nothing. So yeah, please stop by the central admin district, which is that giant polygonal thing in the center of Norchun. Look at this. We did it, you guys. Let's play cancel. No, I'm kidding. I wouldn't cancel this. I'm having too much fun. And believe it or not, there's actually people watching this. Like one people, at least as of the time of this recording, one people. But you know, whatever. That's still cool. One person enjoy this. That enjoys this. That's totally cool with me. So now, we're the battling champ, and we can just leave, but we can't leave with the gear, so we gotta, you know, steal it. So now we get to go on another heist! You think, uh, you'd think by this point, um, Kislev would be a little bit more worried about people stealing that fucking gear, because it was stolen in the very beginning of the game, and at this point, when we steal it, because it's not an if, it's a when. When we steal this fucking thing. Um, that'll have been twice. Like, somebody's gonna need to have gotten fired at this point. Alright, I can rest here. Yeah, I'll do a quick rest, but there's some stuff in this room I want to check out. Ah, delicious water. No talking, black screen, what could be better for an LP? Okay, maybe there isn't anything I can check out in here. I think I'm thinking Bart's room. There's... Yeah, it's not in here. Alright, we did it. Now I'm a free man living in De Block. What's up, Latina? Hey, girl. Apparently, we've been hanging out off-screen with Latina here, who's like, Yeah, you're super cool. Oh, nothing else. We fought her at one point. Meet him at the Wildcat Bar in A Block. A Block. Da Block. Ka Block. Ba Block. I'm sorry. Alright, we did it. We made it out. We got out of prison. We Shawshanked ourselves. Through combat. Yeah, you better not talk shit to me, motherfucker. I'm the battling champ. I'll baptize you. Me and my buddy here will take you in the back alley, put you on your knees and blindfold you, and baptize you. I was in awe when I watched your title match. So these are just the... I don't know if you can tell, but there's two guards around the D-block. They're still there. So we can go do stuff in, we can go do stuff in Norchun, but this will actually be our first time to take a look around the world map here. Ah, my thing still doesn't work. So does Satan have his gear? Nope. None of us have gears. So this is... They've got a relatively small region, but it's all grassland, so it's probably much better overall for supporting a population than, uh... We'll be back here later so we can take a look at it later. But since it's all grassland, it's probably much better for supporting a population than a fucking desert. Alright, what do you have to say? Got another guard over here for some reason. It is closed off due to construction. Oh, okay, that's fine. So I can't do anything, I can't do any, like, optional battling or anything at this point. Uh, but now, we are here in A Block. We have gathered together a selection of many types of accessories. 
So now we actually have access to decent shops. Um, who are you? Decent selection. Oh yes, the accessories. All treasures, so buying them is no loss. I don't work for the store though. He's traveled various countries looking for his ideal weapon. I'm just a woman attracted by his ardor. You know, if you wash him, he won't smell like ardor. I'm, I'm being an idiot. We've traveled through most of Ignis. When will he look at me and not these weapons? Sounds like she wants you to use the weapon in your pants, bro. Oh, this is the guy. This is the guy she's talking about. This is it, the ideal weapon. You never figure out what he's actually getting. Actually, I'm gonna go over there and look at what he's looking at. All right, so you can buy metal jackets and helmets. I'll buy one of these. I'm never gonna use these damn things. But whatever, I couldn't care less. All right, what's he looking at? He's just looking at guns and swords, which he both, both of which he dismissed. Strange, whatever. So let's see what else is going on. There should be more stuff to do. Children! Let's talk to the children! That's common thinking, right? But in this town covered in dirty steam, it's probably not that good for us. Nope, I just talked to you. Fuck off. Hey, it's Big Joe! Hey, what's up, dude? Uh... Yeah, sure. All in this world was that easy, huh? I know, I can't just let you... It's an alley! Fuck off, bro! You should just walk in there. Well, it would benefit you, but it'd be no profit to me. This fucking bastard. Okay, there's a reason I'm spending 5,000 G to look in a fucking alley. The fun starts from here. Never fear, I'll be here. That's right, straight ahead now. It's just a dead end. Son of a bitch! Look at him dart off! Piece of shit stole 5,000 g from me. Faye, you're a fucking idiot. Eh. I had the money to spare. <laughs> I just get in there! Kind of the point of me doing that. All right, so this is the Wildcat. I don't talk to you. I'm trying to work. Could you get out of the way, by the way? I'm tired of that kind of stuff. Oh, I'm not trying to hit on you, chicka. A jukebox. There's only one disc. See if it works. It's busted. The disc is broken. The box itself is as good as new. All we need is a new disc. What you got going on? After being a mercenary, I was going to make money at the Imperial Battling, but the battling's been stopped for now. It's too bad for me. Who are you? Oh! Uh, this is interesting. This is one of the few times you run into a child of the Dragon Tribe. Um... Basically, they turn into big fucking dragons when they get older. Welcome to the wildcat. Make yourself comfortable and leave the cat alone. There's a cat? Where's the cat? No, fuck off! I don't fucking play with the cat. Aw, there's two little... Look at it! There's a cat, a cat and two kittens. Woohoo! And they're all in my goddamn way. And Hammer wasn't there. Useless. All right. Let's explore some more. All right, so this is just somebody's house. Before I die, I want to see the face of my grandchild. So don't say before I die. It has been going for over 500 years at this point. The city's other name is the town of Steam because steam is being blown out of everywhere the eye can see. This is very interesting, and it's completely different from Ave, because Ave is hot and humid. This place seems to be cool and, or hot and dry, and this place seems to be super cool and humid. Hey, look! We're up on the rooftop. I wonder what that is. 
Up. Oh. We fell into somebody's fucking bathroom. That's probably in poor taste. Hey, I just came out of your bathroom. Where did you... Oh god! This person knows me. Let's fight! Let's kill him! I love how Doc's just like, did you fuck her? Hey! Hey! Did you fuck her? And he's like, no! God damn it! But actually, this is cool. It's the Doc from the block! <laughs> I'm terrible. Yeah, I got that collar off. I'm the motherfucking champ, homie. Girl, I look better without it on, huh? Doc's right, though. We should've, you know. No. Yes, he's your fucking guardian. You can't fucking wipe your ass without him, Faye. She's about to get her ass yelled at. Nobody gives a fuck. They're prisoners. No! I got world problems to deal with, girl! <laughs> ah, delicious. So I think you're actually supposed to come in here and talk to her. Um, actually, no, I don't know if you're supposed to. But the fact that she's here becomes important for us later. You're stuck here. <laughs> Return to the block. No, I got out that life. I ain't trying to run these streets no more. I got this house. In a nice part of town. I ain't trying to go back to the block. You know what they say, you can take the block out of the, or the block out of the dock, but you can't take, you can take the dock out of the block, but you can't take the block out of the dock. I'm terror. I'm sorry. The, I should stop this recording. Hey look, it's a nun from Neeson. Okay, this part's cool. Um, because you wouldn't have any context for something that happens later. If... If you come through the toilet, I might be sitting there squeezing out a fat turd. And he's like, I, I'm down. Okay. <laughs> I understand. Aw. But yeah, this is interesting because you get some context for something that happens later, which is that little knock. Uh, if you don't do this, you get no context for it, and then it just happens, and you're left kind of wondering, what, what, what are we doing here? Which is part of the reason I was thinking that might have been mandatory, but I don't actually think it is. So now I'm trying to build up my physique by running around in circles. Feels a little futile, probably. Prohibited. Hey, I'm the champ. I don't need permission. I'm the champ. You seem to get to do whatever the hell you want when you're the champ. What are you guys doing? You're just guarding the... This is the north gate. The road leads to the central district. Okay, yeah, I don't care. Um, I think I am at some point going to have to go to the, to the capital. In fact, let's go there now. Because <clears throat> I think we're actually going to get to meet the Kaiser here. So look at this place. This is completely different from the rest of the city. If it isn't the Batlin champ. Kaiser's waiting. Please come this way. It's a cool little part of the game. Oh shit! What's he doing here? 
to lure Fay. He makes it sound like something bad's gonna happen. You can't fit in the air duct. You weigh a quarter of a ton, bro. A little less, but whatever. It's almost immaterial. Central District, the Kaiser's room is up this elevator and up the West Wing stairs. So we're gonna go everywhere but. Um, I think there's a mini game somewhere in here, but I don't remember. Hey look, it's a dude and his dog. Don't tell anyone I'm keeping a pet down here. Found him on the outskirts of Lahan. Oh shit, he's from Lahan. He remembers me. He barked at me, but he was probably like, you traitor, I hate you. My name's Dan. I have a giant hydrocephalic forehead. Alright, what do you got? He was such a good guy, who would ever... Oh, somebody died. Wait. Shut up, chickens. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, no, I got that already. Come here. You, you, come here. Come here. What's the deal with these fucking chickens? Catch tonight's chicken dinner. Fuck it. I don't care about your tonight's chicken dinner. Okay, this is... a... mini-game, so we're gonna do this really quick. What are you guys doing? But his soul's not. Or his hands, legs... Oh, God! So these guys are dealing with some fucked up shit. The old man in charge of the railway, huh? Hey look, there's some shit back there. That seems like it would be important, yeah? So let's try this little crane game. Nope, okay. Let's try it again. Gotta go out and have it reset. We're doing this, y'all are, are gonna have to deal with this. I'm sorry. All right, so here's the thing about the chain. Wait, I thought we were supposed to be able to climb the damn thing. Huh, I guess not. So the first thing I want to do is get it over there to get to that that box right there. Come on. Okay, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. But also it doesn't seem to be the way I want to make it go. Oh, maybe I can... I can just jump up there. Oh, I can just totally jump up there. Insulated armor. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to make it go right, then left, then right, then in there. And I want to get it over there, because then I can climb up that shit over into that little corner there. So that's the fun little mini game here. Hopefully we should be able to do it this time. Third time's the charm. It's also how I jinx myself. If I have more problems with it, I'll fucking cut it. Shit. I fucked that one up. Okay, there might be a cut here. Hey! I'm not gonna have to cut it after all, I don't think. I can climb up it. Wait. You can stand on that little part. There we go. Alright, explain yourself! Oh, that supply train shakes. But you don't have to go near the damn train. I'll give you that stuff over there if you don't tell anyone I'm here. And what do we got? Power magic. If I remember correctly, that is an item that enhances... Where are you at? Where are you at? Power magic. Huh, it must be for gears. Hopefully I'll remember to look at that later. Yay, we did the thing, you guys. Okay, cool. Cool, carrying on. Alright, that's the door we came from. That's the door I want to go through. 
Hey, it's kitchen. What's up, you? It's a war all the time in here. I'm so high on cocaine. What are you? I'm an idiot sandwich. We're undermanned here. There's just a random cow in here. I wonder if the cow helps with prep. Alright. Um, we're gonna explore all of this because you do not get another chance, if I remember correctly. For a long time. Actually, you may never get a... Or if I'm not mistaken, we may never get another chance. Look at that thing! Suspicious activity that could attack at any time. That's a big, cool, fucking plane thing. It's completion, Abbe, and Solaris will have to submit to us. That thing looks fucking crazy. Alright, what else do we got going on in here? Currently, Abbe is a puppet government. Ramses, a Gebler officer, is the one who holds the true power. Hey, look, there's a map. Let's take a look at the map. Cool. Nice PNG. Told us nothing. But, whatever. Alright, so that's here. Now let's go up the strangest elevator I've ever seen. Just wait till you guys see it. There is some serious technology in this Capitol building. And this is why it's the strangest elevator ever. Why did, why did it have to do that? Why? Seems like a waste of polygons. And time. And programming. And stuff. Okay. This is the Kaiser's wife's room. No one's been allowed in here since she disappeared. Please leave. Okay. So we can't go in there. I gotta go up those stairs eventually. Well, that's where we're gonna end. Look at this. Another super... Look at this guy! This is the only time you get to see a model like this. Look at this fucking big general dude. I'm gonna talk to him. He's the captain. When will we be able to use our real power? This is another... Look at him. He, these guys look like they're supposed to be like Russians. It looks pretty cool. Why do you think we have a bridge here? That's actually a very good question. Relationship worsen, worsened due to Gebler. So they almost had a goddamn truth. Truce. There we go. Words. Um, but it's also very, 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 very interesting that uh, there's a bridge in this fucking capital. I wonder why. I wonder if that's something we're going to find out, perhaps much later in the game. Yeah, just remember it. Probably forget. This, game's give, this game gives you the opportunity to learn stuff way earlier than it becomes relevant or explained even. There's something in here. Huh. There's a cat going around. Let's talk to you. Who are you? Zygmunt made it his made it this far on his own, even after the loss of his wife. But not a day goes by that he doesn't think of her. It is so sad. Sob sob. Hey look! It's De Kaiser. He looks kinda like a little elf person. Ho ho. <clears throat> yeah, I'm Faye. He seems surprised by me. I'm in charge of this whole fucking place. I need your assistance. Oh shit! Look at this orc! Look at his hair! Look at his hair! He went stupid Saiyan. Ha <laughs> ha, get it? It's you, Rico! Yeah, that's what happens when you shove a 430 pound person in a goddamn... <laughs> in a goddamn air vent. Plus it probably also sounded like somebody was squeezing a fucking cow through that thing. So that was weird, yeah? Nope, down's not good. I, I would kind of agree with you. These guys are fucking idiots, watch this. Hey, the Kaiser's calling you. This is dumb. The store won't open for anyone except the Kaiser and his wife. Almost like it's DNA patterned. And it opens for Rico. I wonder what that means! It's a little sad. 
the explanation, I mean. So Rico, if this is Rico's vision, he's falling down drunk right now. He's not really, but whatever. So he totally recognizes this. Something about this. Mmm, delicious water. Your father is... Blah, blah, blah. So that's why. This is a little bit sad. Oh. But as an explanation, this this kid is Rico obviously, and he is he's the he's the son of the I guess I'm spoiling it. Um, he'll become a demi-human. Um, he he's he's the son of Kaiser. So so we've got two world leaders kids hanging out with us. So that that's cool. Um in the case of Bart, it's important. In the case of Rico here, it's actually not that important. Um, but it is significant in terms of, like, the company we're keeping. So this poor kid's turning into a fucking demi-human while his mother's dying. He doesn't know anything about his dad. I mean, he knows who his dad is, but... I feel like there's, like, a demi-human racism thing going on, and... Basically, he was kicked out when it became apparent. But I don't know that, and I don't know if it's explained. That smell. Oh god. It's interesting that they send Faye to be like, Hey! Hey asshole, what are you doing? Very interesting. Alright, this is the, like, the only time we're ever gonna get to go in this room, so we need to check it for shit. We received a memento locket. Let's take a look at that. What does it say? Huh. It's not in here. Is it equipment? Memento chain. It's for... I think it's only for fucking Rico. Yep. It's only for Rico and it increases his ether abilities, which is useless because he doesn't get... Hey, there's a bird hanging out in here. He doesn't get any useful, like, attack ether abilities, I think, until the very end of the game. Um, and the increase is not that much. How did you get in here? I just came in through the door, bro. Oh, I was right, it is a DNA scanning door. No, it's not a malfunction. This is your kid. Can't you tell by the ears... I guess. Oh god. The battling committee is gonna fuck up Rico. Physically and emotionally. I don't know. I'll be seeing ya around sometime. Yeah, no shit, bro. The police are looking into the matter now. Finally, he's like, I gotta fuck off. <laughs> Good day. Alright, let's go back up to your room and see that item box that's up there. I wanna go do that. Come on. I hope I can get in there. I should be able to get in there. Yeah, boy. Night mail. Night Helm and Night Mail. 
Look at Faye's defense compared to frickin' Satan's. That's crazy. It's almost twice as much. His attack's a lot higher, too. The power ring that he has equipped is helping with that, but... His wife was carrying a child when she left. He would have been the heir if it were a boy. Hmm. Eh, I explained it already. You guys know what's going on. Alright, time to go down the weird... Ah, shit. I went through the wrong door again. No, I don't want to check out the bridge. It is a really cool fucking bridge. It looks like the bridges from those Solaris ships. I mean, slightly different, obviously, but it looks close. And down the weird zigzag elevator again. Who fucking designed this thing? Who is like, yeah, it's an elevator, but why does it go left? Uh, you know, it doesn't need to go, it doesn't need to like zigzag like that. It, it's really like mechanically complicated for that to happen. Oh, we didn't get to see that little clean door thing before. It's like really mechanically complicated to make it do that. Okay. Okay, so this is why we didn't see Hammer before. MC Hammer. We didn't see Hammer. We didn't MC Hammer. I'm sorry. Can't touch this. Duh. I know. I'm terrible. Man, that was like instant. They like quickly see transitioned us from one to the other. Bro! Pinpointed where your gear is. Hold on a second. <laughs> He's just running his mouth in front of the guards like, We found the gear we're gonna steal from the Kislev government and stuff. Also, he's supposed to be grabbing him by the face at this point, but the sprite's too far away. So it just looks like he's giving, like, like, the power fist. Fuck you, Hammer, come on. Satan, where are you going? Hey, are you listening? Wee! Idiot child. But the good news is we have this uh, safe house we can uh, run our mouths in instead of sitting in the corner of the bar being all whispery. Oh! Million back pain. Sis? I guess bro and sis. For some reason I thought at some point that maybe they were actually related, but I, that's not the case. Where is Veltal? Under the earth. In the block. Shit. Every time I get out the block, I get pulled back into the block. Enter via the battling arena grounds. Which, there's no way we can do that. The second one is supply train tunnel. That's kind of cool, right? So we can sneak in through ducks from that supply train we saw earlier. Oh, Back pain. Oh, never get old, kiddos. I'm not saying die young, I'm just saying never get old. Supply train pass by at a time that is of any use to us. Not all of this has to be decided now. Good point, Faye. It's pretty useful, just going out and grabbing this information while we're just hanging out in the bathroom over to the other side. I don't remember. I think there might be a gag with us dropping in there when somebody's in there. I don't remember. I think there might be. Either way, shit. I'll look it up and see, because if there is, I'll throw it in another episode. But uh, not this one, because we are going to conclude this for today. So, hey, thanks, everybody, for coming out for the 14th frickin' episode of Xenogears. We've done 14 of these so far, and we've got plenty more to go. Um, if you liked what you saw, you should definitely subscribe. Um, if you are subscribed, thank you very much. Um, you should share this with your friends and other people you know that might like old-school JRPGs. Either way, thanks for coming out, and we'll see you guys next time.